Hello all, welcome to AutoGood YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Today we are going to learn how you can use UiPath Autopilot to generate different templates in UiPath Studio web as well as how you can create automation using Auto, uh, UiPath Autopilot. Right. So UiPath Autopilot is a new feature that has introduced by uh, UiPath recently which is having the power and uh, capability of generative AI. So by giving the proper prompt, it will guide you or it will help you to generate new automations. Okay. So it's not only limited to UiPath Studio Web. We will be getting this feature in uh, Studio as well and even in apps as well. Even in DU also, you will be getting this feature to generate your own automations. Okay. So by giving the proper prompt, you can make your own automation. Or just consider if you're using apps you can give the prompts and based on that it can generate the uh, application for you okay so just consider if you want to make an application which is having uh, four text boxes and if you want a sign button you can just give that prompt properly based on your prompt the autopilot will help you to create an application okay uh, so this will be a series of videos. I'll be uh, going through all of these features in the coming uh, videos. So today as an introduction, I will show you how this autopilot is going to work in Studio Web and I will show you some examples that is using the feature of autopilot. Okay, so currently the autopilot is in public uh, preview uh, session. So once all these uh, previews and all the feedbacks from users has provided, uh, UiPath will be launching this uh, product okay officially launching this product okay so let us understand how we can generate a very simple template using uh uipath autopilot okay so what i did is i have gone to uipath studio okay so what is the traditional method like i can create a template or uh so or i can use any of the template that is available in the page right or i can create an automation and i can convert that to a template right or i can click on generate and i can create a, a new new templates uh, right i can create new templates and i can publish as a template that is one method but now with the advancement of generative ai we can just provide our uh, descriptions in layman language and the system can automatically understand what is our requirement and system will help you to create your own automations okay so let me go through this okay i'm going to give a very um, uh, simple uh, info okay read the email from gmail and get the email title and create tickets in jira okay i randomly provided uh, uh one command okay so here you can see uh for each uh application name if you're typing it is automatically searching for that application it means that it is identifying like each time if you are typing something it is trying to identify which all applications are required okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, click it and it okay so this is a description that i have provided read the email from gmail and get the email title and create ticket in jira okay so this is very simple uh, description that i have provided and here you can see this is in preview mode right and after some time what has happened here you can see it has automatically created a very simple flow for you okay so this is a very basic uh, preview flow so if you are not satisfied with this you can cancel and you can give an another prompt or you can just modify here and you can just recreate it okay so i'm okay with this like my requirement is like i'll be getting new email received and i have to uh, read the title and assign that and then i have to create a jira ticket right so what i'm going to do let me click on continue in studio okay now what will happen is this workflow will be converted to an automation process in the path studio okay so you have to just wait for some time okay so here you can see it has automatically identified the uh, uh, activities which is required and uh, just uh, added the assign activity and here you can see it has automatically uh, used the create jira issue as well but in my case i haven't connected to jira as of now okay so that's why it hasn't established any connection to jira but in this case you can see it has automatically uh, used the gmail activity and it has automatically made a connection to my gmail account because 
I already have access to Gmail and I already used it before and I registered as well. Okay, so because of that, it identified I already have a uh, uh, connection connectivity or connector that is available for Gmail and I have authenticated that with my email address. So it automatically took that address uh, for Gmail connection. Okay, now what I need to do, I just need to provide the uh, the folder which uh, I, I need to consider like inbox or whatever the folder it is and if I need to add add some filter that I can add and I can uh, create a variable if required okay then I need to uh, create the ticket okay so first for that first I need to connect to Jira so uh, what happened is like uh, when I provide the description automatically UiPath understand this is my requirement or this are applications required and it has provided you a layout okay or template it has already provided so this template you can use and you can create your own automation okay so if you're okay with this process and if you want to save it as a template you can just submit as a template okay so this is how you how you can create automation templates for your automation and it's very easy like by giving the proper description it will help you to generate the automation workflow and you just need to make some um, fine tuning on the activities all right so that's what you have to do so this is the first case okay this is how you can uh, use uh, autopilot for generating the automation template okay so let me go back so i will show you how you can do a very simple automation using uipath autopilot okay so let me create a new project new project okay i'm going for manual automation okay here i have already automated a, a opened rp challenge okay so my requirement is i need to enter uh, details to all the uh, fields and i need to click on submit button okay so what is the normal procedure like either i can use activities for or, or, or type test activity for um, identify each element and i can create the automation or else i can use the recorders for record each action and i can record the click action as well right so apart from that i will show you how you can generate these using the prompt okay so what is the first thing i need to open the browser right so i'm just using use browser activity this is a very simple example which i would like to show you to understand uh, how uipath autopilot is help you helping you to create a automation okay so i'm just selecting the application okay i'm just selecting that Okay, as it is a UI application, here you can see generate the UI automation activity using autopilot preview. Okay, so it will automatically help you to generate the UI automation activity based on the prompt that you're going to give. So let me give generate. Okay, now a prompt will open, or here what you can do is just describe your actions on this page. Okay, what are actions that you want to uh, type here? Okay, so I'm just going to give enter data to all fields in the page and click on submit button okay it's a very simple prompt that i have provided click on generate okay now you can see generating activities from prompt so whatever prompt i have provided it is using generative ai technology to understand the prompt and it is automatically generating activities okay based on the prompt so instead of recording or instead of capturing each and every element it is automatically identifying the page and it is identifying the elements in the page and it is automatically capturing each element and it is automatically generating the activities like type into activity and it is assigning the ui element to that particular activity and here you are getting the automation okay so if you want to delete something you can just click on this three dot and you can delete it and each time if you're clicking on one uh activity right the particular thing or particular uh element ui element will get highlight here okay and you'll be able to see the uh, anchor as well okay so if you're okay with this what you can do just click on confirm okay or if you want to uh post the selection you can just click on this uh, post the selection or you can use f2 uh button as well okay so let me click on confirm okay so i confirmed the automation that just created now click on save okay so when i click on save what is happening is here you can see generating activities in rpa right so here you can see the automation is ready okay 
with a simple prompt or with a simple prompt it has automatically generated the automation and at the end you can see it is clicking on the click submit okay so it automatically identify all the text fields are or can be used for typing some data and the button we can use using the click activity to click on that button okay so it is having the cap capability to understand each field in the page and to understand what action we can perform at that particular field okay so this is very simple and here you can see it has automatically created the variables as well if you want to mm, modify the data you can go to data manager and you can modify the data assigned to it and by default it should have a user some uh, default value if you want to modify it just modify the value okay so that's it so this is how you can create uh, uh, automation so using github autopilot okay so i will show you uh, how it is working so let me run it and uh, let me show you how this automation is going to execute okay here you can see just opened a live streaming so continue to your uh, live stream Okay, here you can see it is opening RPA challenge. I think uh, the execution is uh, completed. So in the back end, it, the automation is already completed. Okay, so anyway, this is how uh, easily you can uh, create the automations and how you can execute the automations in uh, UiPath uh, Studio. There. Okay, so this was just an introduction in the video just to show you some of the basic capabilities of a UiPath Autopilot. Okay, so in the coming sessions or in coming videos, I will show you how this GitHub Autopilot is going to help you in all the products that is available in UiPath. Okay, and I will show you a few of the use cases where you can easily use this GitHub Autopilot for creating better automation. Sir. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. If you haven't explored this uh, UiPath autopilot, just try to uh, do some basic automations or using this autopilot to understand how uh, powerful it is and how useful it is to help you in creating the automations. Okay, so that's it for today. Hope you find this video useful. Please like the video, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. So, thanks for watching the video. Bye.